Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Friday, September 27th, 2024 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, I align myself to listen and receive. And here we go. We are moving closer to the dark of the moon, to our incoming eclipse. And part and parcel of that is the sun reaching to a point where it's going to connect with the south node. So we're going to have the sun and south node officially connect this weekend. I believe it's going to be Saturday that they officially connect, but here it is. Like it's, we're in the energy of this. And so what does this mean? What does the south node mean? So nodes come as a pair, the north node and the south node. And what we want to do is like kind of lean to the north node by taking the lessons of the south node and feeding it into leaning into the north node. So the north node in Aries is reminding us to focus on the self, to focus on who we are, to help work through the layers, to bring our most authentic self. Um, now the South Node in Libra is helping us relief, 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 there you go, some of the more toxic Libra traits. And one of the ones that I see strongly, having much Libra in my chart, um, is the people pleasing and the desire to create peace so much outside of ourselves that we wreck ourselves so much. We don't honor ourselves. And so watch for those patterns. Now I have a story to share. Um, this, this came up for me big time this week. Uh, so I've mentioned I work at my friend's restaurant and I work with a delightful Aquarius most days. He is a a young, delightful Aquarius, and he asked me to work for him on Saturday. And that's actually why I started working at my friend's restaurant, because she was like, I just need help sometimes, and blah, 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 and I was like, throw me in, throw me in, I can do this. And then it evolved into something else. So here's the point where she would throw me in, and I was like, no, and I want to do it because I want to help my friend, and I want to support this delightful young Aquarius, and everything in me screaming no. I even pulled cards. I was like, this is what happens if I do it. Exhaustion. This is what happens if I don't do it. Courage. And I'm like, I cannot do this. So I'm not. I'm not working on Saturday. But it was such a conundrum for me because it was beyond the people pleaser. It's just like, I care about these people. I want to show up for these people. But if I was doing it, it would be at the expense of myself. And recognizing that is a huge, huge, huge thing that I've been working on. And this one in particular just really challenged me. So you may find situations like that coming up where the people pleaser in you or just even the like kind, hey, I want to show up for you kind of person, you know, is like, oh, I want to lean in and do the thing. And meanwhile, your body's screaming, no, because it's going to throw you out of balance, whether you understand why or not. Like, I don't have a real reason why, except that my body was like, no, no, no. And I really had to listen, and it was really hard. So watch for that coming in as we have the, the sun and the south node aligning, where you're trying to create this peace outside of yourself. And you know what? It all worked out. Because I was willing to face my truth and I shared it with my friend and everything worked out. So watch for that for yourself, specifically this weekend, because there might be some Libra patterns and specifically in relationship and maybe even specifically to like, you know, sometimes it's easier to tell like our partners or our family no, sometimes. Um, <laughs> we have the friendliness card in reverse. It might be more so acquaintance, acquaintances. It's hard to talk today. Hello, Mercury in Libra. Um, and it might be a little bit more difficult to be like, ah, sorry, my body is saying no. Uh, but watch for that. It might not be your body saying no, you know, but listen. Listen so that you can align and trust <laughs> trust in the unfolding. Um, and this is an important eclipse lesson coming in as well. Like the eclipse coming in on Wednesday. I keep wanting to make it Tuesday that it's coming in, but it's coming in on Wednesday. 
it's very potent and powerful, this energy, and it's our last Libra eclipse for several years. And so it's really pushing these lessons, but this weekend is a big piece of the puzzle to understand. Um, now what I love about Friday specifically is that we have the moon continuing in Leo and we have the sun and the moon connecting and they're like, let's be fabulous, let's look good, let's have fun. Um, it's a great little combination that is showing up. So where can you nurture yourself into having a little fun, looking good? There's the cutest dog on Instagram. I don't know the dog's name. But this dog loves to dress up. Like it wants its purse and its little fairy wings. And then it goes and like stares itself in the mirror and like turns and looks. And it is the perfect combination of Libra and Leo. <laughs> so may you find something that makes you admire yourself a little bit. There's nothing wrong with that. Like God, spirit, universe definitely admires all of its creations. When you go outside and admire the sunset or you go outside and admire the animals or the trees or the flowers, it's the same thing. You're allowed to, you know, admire yourself a little. So may you have a moment of admiration for that energy, for yourself, for your inner child. We also have the moon in Leo ugh, having a little having a little square attack with Venus in Scorpio. So there could be a little temper tantrum energy coming out as well. But the good news is we're moving through those both of those things pretty fast. And so Friday could be as chill as a day can be in eclipse season. Now let me be fair and say that our Revolution Evolution Day doesn't finish until a little bit later in the morning on Friday. So there may still be some of those little triggery points to be aware of. Um, for the weekend, I have to say that Sunday has Mars and Saturn in connection. Mars and Cancer, Saturn and Pisces. Obviously, there is some really strong hurricane energy. There's a lot of watery energy, and that energy may be a little tempestuous. Even though it's a trine, it might be emotionally tempestuous, so be aware of that. Um, keep your inner child close, but also keep your inner parent, your inner nurturer close to support the energy. Now this is funny. So in the divine abundance cards, pulled a new one today that I have not pulled yet. And I was like, Oh, how beautiful. So instead of the receptivity card, we have the receiving card. This is part of this Libra energy to be in the flow of giving and receiving just in the way that we're in the flow of breathing. We breathe in, we breathe out. And this is one of the things I like to think of when it comes to money as well. Money comes in, money goes out. It's all giving, receiving. It's all just kind of staying in the flow. But the receiving card says, every day it becomes easier to receive the highest divine plan and to trust my inner guidance. And that really was my overall feeling with the energy mantra to align with the receptivity, to align with listening to God, spirit, universe, to help guide you, me, us through these interesting astro. And just remember, like, the wisdom's always there. The answers are always there to support us. So like I said, the friendliness card is in reverse. Meh. We might not be feeling super friendly, <laughs> out of balance. And again, with the friendliness card too, like don't sabotage yourself out of friendliness. Ultimately, when you betray yourself, you betray somebody else as well. Because if you're not acting in your highest good, then you're not acting in their highest good either. So just keep that in mind. Um, another two. So we got some two cards going on. We've got the possibilities. Stay open to the possibilities. Listen to the possibilities. I often say as well, like, when we don't have to run and jump and save somebody, it lets somebody else fill in that energy that's meant to. So it's really listening and honoring where you are meant to show up. Speaking of listening, we've got the existence card, the magician card, really being very aware of our mental energies and what they are manifesting for us. <laughs> um, speaking of what they're manifesting, it may not come into fruition yet. It's okay. It doesn't have to be here yet. But just 
keep nurturing, keep nurturing the vibes, keep nurturing your mind, keep nurturing the receptivity energy. So that's going to be it for today. Uh, I had a lot of people digging the little um, mini readings. It's just like a little text back and forth, like what's going on? How can I help you? And I take a peek at your chart and pull some cards and it's just been really nice. A few people have needed that check-in. So reach out if you need a little check-in or if you need something bigger, a general reading or so on. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. And besides all this, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power. And remember who you are for. You are the solution. Namaste.